Okay, so we're back with our database and we're still looking at the design of it. So let me just open it. You remember how to do this and double click my destinations. And remember, um, every time we make a change in design, we always come back and have a look at uh, our table to see what it's actually done to the data and what it means when we've set up a drop down list. Um, or a lookup wizard or things like that. Okay, so let's just go back and have a look. So we've dealt with uh, the, oh, okay, so one of the things I needed to mention was name is text and that's 50 and we haven't, and why haven't we changed it? Why haven't we done input masks and things like that with that? And that's because the names are just free text. Uh, they're not codes or anything like that. They're just free text. They're the name of the actual destination that you're going to. And they're all different and some of them might have uh, words which are the same. So for names, we just leave it as text and 50. Uh, so let's have a look at location and see what that is. So I've changed my location down to 30. So I'm just going to have a look at location. So location appears to be the names of the towns and none of the um, town names uh, appear to be more than, so that's a really long one, Western Super Bear. None of them appear to be more than uh, more than 30, so I've changed text down to 30 there. So now let's have a look at postcode. So postcode is um, quite interesting because some of the postcode fields are longer than others. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight characters. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight characters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven characters. So remember to count the space as a character as well. So we're having between seven and eight. So in postcode, what I've done for the postcode field is change that to 10. Uh, so I've got a couple of extra just in case there's an odd postcode. And then again, once you've do the changes you make sure that uh, it works uh, so region is 20 etc this is hyperlink for you already so now let's have a look at entry cost so from the sheet describing it it said that this was currency not text so let's just have a look at the data in that field and let's just see what it's coming up as so it's got things like 10 9.9 .9, zero etc so what I've got to do is see whether there's a field type which isn't text so let's drop this down and there we have num text and memo and number date and time currency so currency that's probably a good bet to choose for that field so I've chosen currency let's see what that does to my data so save it and it gives me a warning saying you might lose some data, but that's okay because I don't think I'm going to lose any data. So there, what it's done is it's actually put in the the pound signs and given sensible uh, decimal places for something which is currency. So that was a good choice of field for that. So now we've got opening times and closing times as text. And you may remember when we've clicked on things, we've come up, there is a date and time field. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just have a look at the data first to see what sort of data it is because a lot of these things are to do with common sense. And this gives the opening and closing times and it's got maybe that's the hour, that's the minute and that's the seconds. I don't think people are really going to be interested in you know, the seconds and nobody advertises an opening time with seconds in it. Uh, but they do have the hour and the minutes, so 9.30 for example, or 6.45, etc. So uh, the seconds seem a bit redundant, so let me go to my design view. So for the opening times, um, again, date and time, that's a good one to start with, and then see what happens. And then under format, if I click under format here, I get different options for... Uh, dates and I get different options for times so here's my first time so time says 1734 and then with 
uh, seconds next to it. There's medium time with PM, etc. written next to it. When I looked, I didn't notice that. So um, short time, this looks more like the format that I need. So let me choose that. I'm going to leave closing time as text for the moment. Go to my table view, click on yes here. And let's see what it's done to my opening time and see whether I want the same done to my closing time. Oh, now that's a very se sensible way of displaying times. And my closing time, I need to do exactly the same with my closing time. So let's go to view. And again, I've chosen date and time from here because that's the type of field it is. And then from the format, it gives me various other options. So hopefully you should be able to see how powerful uh, databases are when you compare them to spreadsheets for actually storing data, especially trying to stop yourself from making mistakes, which are easy to do when you're entering so many records um, into a database. So let's just make sure that that change has happened. So there we go. That's, that's, that's very good. So just a reminder of the sorts of things we've done. We've been able to change our fields into the the right sort of fields we've made use of text fields date and time fields currency fields and we've also used lookup wizard which helps if we want to choose from a list so uh, those are the sorts of things that we've done and we've also when we've chosen text fields for example phone number we've reduced the amount of space that they take up one important thing to recognize about phone number and why it's a text field you'd think it would be um, a number field but if i scroll along to the phone number what happens is if we and i'm not going to do this but you could do it maybe on your backup database to just see what happens if i change this to a number field it loses the zero at the beginning because when you store something as a number there's no point having a zero at the beginning and if you store this as text you can also leave a space between the code uh, fields and if it was number you wouldn't be allowed to store spaces so that's an important thing to recognize about the phone field and why that's text but it has been reduced in terms of how much space it takes up okay uh, next video we're going to look at the ID field because that we're going to just do something slightly more fiddly than all of the other fields that we've looked at.